Hey, welcome back. So, showing you this, I really didn't tell you that much what I actually did. I just clicked around a lot and hopefully you guys could follow the video and try the same. But let's try and just get an overview of what's actually going on when I press this start button right here after I've been writing some code. Um, first of all, let me start here at the Solution Explorer. I, I mentioned it briefly last time, but the Solution Explorer here will have all the available projects. So as we move forward, you'll see more and more projects showing up here, like this line right here. And under each project, you'll have a list of code. In this case, there's only a program file, but you'll have a lot of pieces of files, a lot of files with a lot of different code in them. So that's what this guy is going to be all about. The projects, we're going to have one per um, whatever you're building, like we'll have one if we have um, a web page, we'll have one if we have a REST API, we'll have one if we... For each project you can write some specific code. And we're going to do it for a lot of console logs just to get you going with writing code. Okay, so that's the Solution Explorer over here and you can drag these guys around and place them wherever you want. Just notice here, I'm just drag and dropping. I wanted to keep it over here um, and sometimes it actually stays where I want it but sometimes it pops up in different places but it ended up okay. But you can always drag it around and place it in new places. I want it right here right now. Okay, so this is the how you use the Solution Explorer and that's what that is all about. Solution Explorer is very important for you so let's keep it there. Now let's talk about the start button. When I press start what actually happens is that we compile the code. And what is that? It means we take, this is something that you and I can read, but a computer doesn't understand this. A computer reads zeros and ones, so it has to convert it into something that it can read. So let's have a look at what it actually does. When I press this start button, it actually goes into the folder and it creates something for us inside the bin folder. So inside my hello world, there's always a bin folder and under this guy, there's a debug folder right now. Now it's created all of these guys for me. And that's what it does when I press the start button. Let me just look at what you got here. You got an exe file. Everybody knows an exe file. An exe file, it's right here by the way. An exe file is the guy that you execute to run a Windows program, right? Let's just look at, I want to see the extensions because this is actually not an exe file even though it says .exe. So I'll go on the view and here I'll say show file extension. I'll go on the view again and then I'll say show hidden item. I just want those two uh, turned on so I have easier time communicating with you guys. And you'll notice that this is actually the .exe file and the other one is a .config file. Now, you can double click this .exe file now and it'll actually launch the application, right? Congratulations, so you have a real application you could actually send to a friend now. If he has a Windows machine, he can actually launch it. That's cool. I'll just shut it down again by pressing enter. So that's actually what it does. When I press the start button, it says, okay, I'll convert this for you into an exe file and some other files that I require, and then I'll launch the application for you in something called debug mode. So let's try and launch it again. No, actually, I'll end it there for now. Just know that it converts this for you into the debug folder. Let me just try and delete everything inside the debug folder. For now, there we go. I can't do that because it's up and running here, so I'll just shut down Visual Studio, and I'll try again. It deleted everything. I'll start Visual Studio again. Now I just want to show you that there's no debug inside the bin folder right now, but as soon as the program compiles, meaning it converts code from human readable stuff into um, computer readable stuff. So just to show you here it actually is, I'll just click the recent one. So it converts this from human readable into computer readable code called binary code. And that's actually, this will happen as soon as I launch my program. There you go, it's back. And I'll just press start to go into a debug mode, just to show you that everything is still running and ready to work with. So that was just to give you an introduction about what actually happens when you press the start button. Another thing you should notice is it switches to another view, okay? So you have two different views in Visual Studio. You have the coding view, and then you have the debug view. So that's also an important one. So all of a sudden, now there's no Solution Explorer here. It's still there, but it's just hidden default because it feels the diagnostic tools is more important right now when you're writing, um, when you're actually debugging stuff. The diagnostic tools are more important than the solution tools. It's up to you. You can always change it. 
If you change it, it'll remember your changes. So next time you run in debug mode, it'll make the view as you want it. Okay, that's all for this lesson. Now you know what happens when we click the start button and what the Solution Explorer is all about. See you in the next lessons.